Hey there my scrappy friends, so this video has quite a few parts to it. I decided to just um, go ahead create a second insert to document, document my summer holidays because uh, I just didn't have enough space in the first insert. So I created the second insert and I was feeling a bit um, sick of the project. I, I guess that you understand the feeling when you've been working on something for quite a long time, you just want to move on. So instead of filming page by page, I just sat down one day and uh, did most of it in one, in one sitting. I kept it a lot simpler than what I was doing in the previous uh, pages because I kind of wanted to get it done. So here I am decorating the first page and basically this insert is dedicated to our trip in Galicia in the north of Spain. Although I do have this page that I'm gonna be working on now, um, which was a cruise that we did in Malta. So for this page I decided to use this colorful Studio Calico sheet of paper. I thought it was um, perfect, it was very colorful and matched the colors in the picture. And yeah, as you can see, I did layering this time because the notebook itself allowed for layering. Uh, the notebook is a lot smaller than the other one. I knew that it didn't have so many pages, so I, I could actually use um, more dimensions such as layers and dimensional stickers. And I did go ahead and, and do that. So here I am using my Oasis letter stickers. I'm really very happy with the quality of these um, stamps. I, did I say stickers? I meant stamps. Um, for the price, I mean, they were uh, ridiculously cheap when I bought them compared to other le um, letter stamps that you can buy. And yeah, I, I am actually happy with the quality. Perhaps um, the only negative thing about them is that they don't really like to stick on the acrylic block. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't matter. They still work. So I'm writing journaling. I'm writing it directly on the pattern paper, although it's not very clear. And this was a day that we went on a cruise and here Mika makes a, an appearance. She was actually sick that day, so I wanted to have her really close to me and I kept her on my lap and I was trying to get her um, entertained with that um, clothespin. And I think at this point she was uh, asleep on my lap and I could keep working. So on to the third page, I'm using more of the simple stories, Lucky You or is it called Lucky You? No, A Charmed Life Collection. Uh, I really like the colors. I've always liked the colors in this collection. So the fact that I had it out, I just kept using it. And um, I wanted to document uh, the place where we were, which was Oleiros. So these pages kind of took a, a, a turn on their own. They, they are very different from the pages that I did in the previous insert. Um, and I can't really explain what I changed in my process, um, but they turned out very different than the pages in my other insert. And perhaps I can say that this is uh, the style that I want to gear through to in my traveler's notebooks. Although I just filmed the flip through of the other notebook and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. So uh, yeah, it's a bit, um, it's a bit of a mystery <laughs> so far for me. I'm still kind of experimenting with this. And this is the last page that I filmed. Uh, because then the, the final two, three pages I didn't even film. But uh, I did these four pages in one s sitting of about an hour. I finished them in an hour. So here we went to visit a park. It was really, really beautiful. And uh, yeah, it was dedicated to war things. And I used some Maggie Holmes um, paper and embellishments and then a few more embellishments that I had here and there to decorate the page. Kept it really simple. And uh, yeah, I, I kept the journaling out. I, ha I still have to write the journaling for this one. But as you can see, I was really opting for simplicity. So I'm going to stop talking because the video is going to stop very soon. And right after... I finish this page. I'm going to show you a flip through, a complete flip through of this extra insert and and then a complete uh, flip through of the whole project. And I hope you enjoyed this. I really did. And I'll be back with more. Bye. Hey there. So this is um, my second notebook for 
uh, the Traveler's Journal project that I was working on this summer. And although it says weekend getaway in A Coruña, it wasn't exactly a weekend getaway because we were there for five days. Uh, a Coruña is in the north of Spain and it's really beautiful. But I did include uh, some things that happened in Malta that did not fit in the other uh, journal. So, for example, this was like a title page and I wanted to include uh, Summer 2017 Part 2, which was the time that we went to Galicia. And this is a picture that I took on one of the beaches in Galicia. Um, it was the only day that we actually went on the beach and the water was freezing cold. Uh, but here, for example, we go back to Malta because uh, I had forgotten to document this outing. We usually go on a cruise called the Hornblower and yeah, we had a really nice time and you saw, you just saw the process video for this one. I did want it to be quite colorful because of the colors that appeared in the pictures and I do like the end result. Although I'm not very convinced about writing on patterned paper because it makes it a bit harder to read. But anyway, um, and then this is where our trip to Galicia starts. So we were staying in Oleiros, which was one of the yeah towns in A Coruña. I actually have the card from the hotel, which I just stuck here. And it was a really nice place to stay in. Um, so I put a couple of pictures and I found this really cute. It's Laura with each one of us in a different picture. I put Oleros with um, sticker letters. And then I did want to include this funny picture of my husband and Laura in the jacuzzi. They enjoyed the jacuzzi to the full, I have to say. Um, we move on. We went to visit a place called... Now, I don't know what this is called. I should actually find out and write it. And as you can see here, the traveler's notebook, um, the layouts that I started doing were simpler. I was getting a bit tired of this project and I wanted to finish it. So I simplified quite a lot. Um, this page still needs some journaling because I need to, I need to write where this place was. I actually need to find out. On this page, uh, I did document Laura and her passion for seashells, so I thought it would be interesting to write the journaling and include the title in the actual journaling. I did not use any pattern paper for this, I was just using stickers and it made the whole process a lot faster. And here I did want to document our passion for food. We do love food. My husband's a chef. I don't know if I've ever spoken about this, but he's a chef, never cooks at home. <laughs> um, but we do make it a point when we're on a holiday to enjoy good food. And especially when we go to new places, we like to try the typical food. So north of Spain, the typical food is um, seafood. We ate a lot and a lot of seafood and the neighbor friend of ours suggested we go to this place and it was spot on. We really loved it. Here we went to visit the aquarium in A Coruña and I wrote the journaling. I cut out a fish shape from the pattern paper. I wrote the journaling on it and added some pictures, although I really didn't have very good pictures because of the bad lighting in the, in the aquarium. And getting to the end, we visited this octopus statue. I was a bit obsessed about seeing it because I had seen it in the brochures in the hotel and I wanted to uh, see it. So it was the very last day. We were on our way to pick the dog up and we decided to have a, like a small uh, road trip in the morning to, to visit it. And it was worth the visit. It was really a uh, funny statue and we took pictures and yeah, it was funny. So I cut up pattern paper in square shapes um, kind of to mimic the mosaic on the actual octopus and I used and there goes the doorbell I'm coming right here I'm back um, I just explained this page I was talking about the mosaic effect that I created um, very simply with pattern paper and then the last page of the traveler's journal it's a let's go home page this was actually the, the evening before we left and this was the last day when we went to pick Mika up and to take her home. So I decided to decorate this page using stickers and creating like a title with a sticker saying so happy, remember good times, summer, sun, 
sunny days shine on family friends but all good things come to an end but before we go Mika and from here onwards so this is um, the finished mini book extra mini book that I created to go with this one and yeah this was my project for summer I really enjoyed doing it and probably I'll pop I'll pop in a very quick flip through of this one in this video and I hope you enjoyed it as well because it was really fun for me to do and fun for me to share and I'll see you with more. Bye!